What is up guys, welcome back to another Destiny 2 video, with today's topic looking at the new mod called Focusing Lens, and why if you are a light subclass user, will want to invest in this mod for any activity in play. As stasis have been both a blessing and curse for those who use it in PvE or PvP, many players are starting to opt in to using light based subclasses to see if they can find ways to counter such in depth classes, but also, because like many, they are getting sick and tired of being frozen all the time. As this is more of a PvP issue rather than PvE, there has been a noticeable rise in light based subclasses to beat back the effects of stasis overall. Law aside, what if I was to tell you that there was a mod that would enhance your light subclass ability to anyone or anything affected by stasis? That's where the focusing lens perk from the artifact comes into play, and this is a mod that I'm very surprised with not seeing a lot of players, especially the PvP players, aren't flocking to. The mod states your light abilities do bonus damage against combatants affected by stasis, and this effect is a 25% damage boost from the moment someone is afflicted by it. Now, as I mentioned, I can see why players may not have looked at the mod further, as it does say it affects combatants, but with how Bungie describes combatants and enemies of the dark at times, sometimes it can be all around confusing for all. This time though, the mod affects everyone and this is great as you will get an extra damage boost for your light subclasses abilities, as a whole wherever you go. In PvE, this can be useful in content where the enemies are many and you have to face a number of tough enemies before reaching a boss. A prime example of this is this week's proven ground nightfall with the many champions flooding the area and the last boss being quite a damage sponge if you don't have any heavy available. If you have a teammate who uses stasis and specs heavily into it, so they can use stasis a lot more throughout the journey, then you can benefit from this and do a lot more extra damage than ever before. Combining this mod with a subclass that is designed for continuous damage like Bottom Tree Sewer Titan or Mid Tree Arc Warlock, and your damage against the endgame boss is massively improved. In PvP, this is where the effects can really turn the tide on enemy players, since both Revenant and Behemoth are the most popular stasis subclass you'll see a lot of in PvP. No matter how many players are stasis on your team, just one dust throw grenade, or shuriken, or shield strike, etc., is enough to give you that boost in damage in subclass damage, and from there you can finish a player off with a simple grenade. A prime example of this is using sticky grenades from your light subclasses. These grenades will either one-shot the player, depending on health, or just injure them, to which they'll just walk away from. With the mod attached now, every time you hit a player with one, it's a guaranteed kill, no matter what. Another example is using mid-tree warlock void melee, which will do 100 base damage and then push them out. But with the mod in effect, this would change it to 150 base damage plus 98 on the side, which is in total a one-shot. Bottom Tree Titan Sailor Punch can one shot players if hit. Skip Grenades can one shot if hit. Pretty much, the majority of your light abilities will one shot, and this opens up the room for more customizations in PvP. We all know there are certain light subclasses in game that need a major revamp and buff to make them applicable, but with the mod attached, it can make a few of those abilities viable to a degree. On top of this, the mod is a free slot item so it won't take up too much space compared to the other mods that require 6 and basically require you to dedicate which mods you need the most and which mod you're going to have to sacrifice. The only downside to this mod though is that if everyone on your team is using a light subclass, the effects won't kick in. This isn't much of an issue as this will be 50-50 at times and most abilities anyways are pretty strong with the right builds around them. I would say, if you want to get the most out of this, sticking in competitive play type content where you have to be very competitive in certain situations is probably the best way to maximise the mod, especially if you decide to use it in trials for example. Overall, I recommend you get this mod and equip it no matter what game mode you're playing as this is easily the best mod to equip for simply playing like normal. So if you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like and a sub and also follow me on Twitter to keep up date with Destiny or Titanfall lore content. If you do that type of stuff, link is down below. But once again, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you on the next one.